Craft beers, or independently brewed beer, sales reached $12 billion last year. That's according to global supplier research company Mintel. One Louisiana-based brewery is helping that industry increase the sale of craft beers by making specialty seasonal beers designed to be paired with Cajun and Creole cuisine. As This Week in Louisiana Agriculture's Avery Davidson shows us, crawfish season means a lot more than great food for the master brewers at Bayou Tesh Beer. You could easily drive past this red metal building sitting in an old soybean field on Bushville Highway and never give it a second look. But once you know what's brewing inside, you'll never miss it again. We just make the sugar water, the yeast do all the work. The bubbling you hear is the yeast hard at work making Bayou Tesh beer. Carlos Knott and his brothers started this brewery in 2009 following 10 years of research. One of the, uh, the perils of being a brewer is you have to eat a lot of food and drink a lot of beer. Knott had no idea the next peril would be keeping up with demand when he and his brothers first brewed Bayou Tesh beer's flagship Beer Paul, Knott thought he would sell a barrel a week. We made what we thought was a a month's worth of beer it was gone in th the first three days. He's been playing catch up ever since. For the second year, Knott says he's going to the Savor American Craft Beer and Food Experience in New York City, one of only 60 breweries in the country to receive an invitation. People are like just amazed and um, it's like we're ambassadors from a different country or something. Knott says he's proud to be that ambassador for Cajun and Creole culture through his beer. Tracing his roots back to the 1790s in Arneville, Knott says beer making keeps him in touch with agriculture. My grandparents were agrarian. We were raised, you know, shelling, shelling uh, field peas and picking pecans and doing all that kind of stuff. Knott says he and his brothers put a lot of thought into how these beers will pair with food before they even brew them. Like the Saison de Ecrevis, a lot of these beers are designed specifically to go with Cajun cuisine. You've got all the fat from the crawfish, which basically coats your taste buds. And then you've got all the spices, the cayenne and everything, which numbs your taste buds. So you, A, you'll need a beer that's very spicy to kind of compete with all the spices, and one that has um, a lot of uh, the, the CO2 in it to cleanse the palate. Uh, like scrubbing bubbles. In all, Bayou Tesh beer makes 11 brews, five of them seasonal, made with Louisiana agricultural products like Bernard's Honey from Abbeville or Primo's Peppers used in beer the Knots make with Mellow Joy coffee they call beer joie. It's not so much like there's a lot of pepper, it's just enough to kind of a little backbone there. Not says for his winter beer, he's using a secret ingredient. And while he'll gladly pass you another pint of his beer noir, Not will only hint at what that ingredient will be. It's very dark. It's a very, very dark, um, and no one else that I know of makes a beer with this ingredient, but it's a very, very dark, a very, very wintry kind of flavor. So if not, will smoke his grains before brewing them to make Bucanet beer. Like cherry wood bacon. <laughs> yeah, it does not you say that. It smells like cherry wood bacon. The only thing you can be sure of when you see the LA-31 on the label, is that it will be uniquely Cajun. In Arneville, I'm Avery Davidson for This Week in Louisiana Agriculture. You can find Bayou Tesh beers at supermarkets and quick stops across the state, and you can even find it as far north as New York City. To find out where you can get your own pint or six-pack of Bayou Tesh beer, you can visit our website at twilatv.org.